Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Longhorn Diaries. Today, on this diary, we are going to share with you winter curb appeal tips for home sellers. Hi, this is Travis Harlick with Remax Preferred Choice, and this is Longhorn Diaries. I'm going to be bringing you everything you need to know about the real estate world and more, all from the cab of my truck. Curb appeal is your first impression on home buyers. And if they're looking at muddy snow drifts or bland landscaping, you're starting in the negative. Instead, make prospective home buyers ooh and ah over your admirable landscaping or first impression curb appeal. On today's Longhorn Diary, I'm gonna share with you 12 tips to increase your home's curb appeal while selling your home, even when it's buried in snow. Number one is clear driveways, sidewalks, and walkways. Sometimes we get a lot of snow where we live, and there's nothing worse than getting to a showing and the home seller has not properly cleared the snow from the walkways, the entranceways, and the driveway. This immediately gives a negative first impression, and it's also a safety concern, so be sure to clear all snow where a potential buyer may walk while touring your home. Number two is keep your garage neat. This is super important because a lot of buyers put emphasis on a good, solid, clean garage, and it also shows a lot better as far as space and storage solutions when buyers are touring your home. This also includes washing, if possible, your garage door before you list your home. I see a lot of dirty garage doors out there, and especially if you have a nice paint color, it brightens it up to have it clear of any debris and of any dirt and mud and grime. Number three is decorate or paint your front door. Now, of course, if you are listing your home for sale in the middle of winter, you're not gonna be able to paint your door, so maybe decorate it. This, again, allows for a really great first impression, and while the home buyers are standing, waiting outside for the door to be open from the realtor, this automatically kind of gives them a sense of cozy and the warm and fuzzy feelings. Number four is add a bird feeder. This creates a good calming effect for the yard and it just simply adds some charm. Number five is use outdoor lighting. This provides warmth and great visibility. There's nothing better than having a house all lit up with really, really great light bulbs on the outside, especially when home buyers are coming to view it at night. It creates a little bit more of a standout impression, especially if your neighbors do not have their lights on and it's definitely, definitely kickstarts the showing to make it go a lot better and smoother. Number six is add an eye-catching mailbox. It adds charm and it's also a conversation piece. Get a retro mailbox. This is a very eye-catching accessory to have and could spark conversation. Number seven is add winter resistant furniture to any kind of outdoor patio spaces. This is a great thing to do, even though it's winter, which allows the buyer to visualize what their future summer outdoor living spaces might be like. Number eight is keep your front door, front foyer area clean and tidy. Sometimes it's even good to add a nice welcome mat or one of those welcome mats that's kind of funny with a funny saying on it. It just adds a good vibe for the overall showing. Number nine is to add colorful winter plants or to have nice evergreens. This creates a little bit of color and turns a bland showing into an exciting one. Number 10 is prune your plants, shrubs, and trees. Now, of course, we can't always do this in winter time, but if you know that you're gonna be listing in the winter and it's only fall time, it's a good thing to do ahead of time, not only to kind of just help the overall appeal of the house, but it's also to prevent heavy snowfalls from breaking off branches that shouldn't have broke off in the first place. Number 11, add sculptural elements. This is never a terrible idea, but ensure that they're winter ready. And number 12 is add a fire pit. Not only is this a cozy and welcoming environment, but it sets the stage for future use. Whether you're a fire pit person in the winter or not, it sets the stage for future use in the summer months. While our winters are known for being harsh, that definitely does not mean that your house has to feel or show like that too. 
With a little bit of effort and creativity, you can spruce up your home's curb appeal in the winter quite efficiently. This will be sure to make it the envy of the entire neighborhood and increase its market value when it's time to sell. That's it for this edition of Longhorn Diaries. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.